Welcome to Waterhenge, an interactive environmental art installation. And this is Jacqueline King. I want to introduce you to Charles Lindsay, the artist that joined Tara, my daughter, and I to do the port submission of January 15, 2012. And this is a call for sponsorship. With container monuments collecting data as vessels of knowledge, and artists and the industry ask the questions, and people answer, crafting a database for the future. Here we're looking southwest, and questions like, my first Thailand's experience was, what's in your genes? The Thailand's are, or our society needs and people respond to the on the chalkboard and that data is collected over time it's where people can become part of the art and so can industry by supplying and sponsoring these containers with the questions peace pro provides the constitution is these are just ideas this is looking southeast from Bayside Park in Chula Vista. Society needs, peace provides, homeland is. <clears throat> the sound art of Charles Lindsay's harborers not only connected with our installation, but it will be connecting the Tideland sounds with the shipping container monuments. You can see the perspective of the people there in the center. And these are going to bring people to the waterfront and interactive sounds to the people. People create connections by becoming part of the art, responding to these theme questions. This water hedge concept was built with the mission statement of the San Diego Foundation in mind. Arts, a reason to survive. And our mission statement for Waterhenge is artworks in the waterfront. So this is the first site that we're suggesting putting the Stonehenge concept on. And sponsorship lets you be part of the art. The art will be up for 15 months, three locations at a time. And during that entire process, your question could be collecting data. Because after decades of this type of activity on the waterfront, and this is the Chula Vista power plant, which is going to be torn down along with the uh, SDG&E plant in the Body of Logan, a new concept of waterfront activities can be explored and this art's going to ready that landscape by exploring the tidelands with shapes and sounds. And the containers become vessels of data and knowledge. This is a view to downtown from Coronado. So these additional funding concepts sponsor a container monument and ask a questions. And people leave written responses and or artwork to container theme questions, becoming part of the art process in many different ways. This was inspired by my daughter Tara and she was inspired by the urban planner activist, which she is herself, Candy Chang. And Candy did a triangulation art project bringing people into blighted neighborhoods by covering them with blackboards. And the question was, before I die, and they found that people came to this wall and filled this wall up every other day and it became part of the environment. We actually have three locations in San Diego right now where Candy Chang uh, chalkboards are currently located. Gutenheim fellow artist Charles Lindsay. We were so privileged to have Mr. Lindsay join us and the following are examples of completed published work by Charles Lindsay, the creator of Harbor Ears. 
This first one is carbon installation. Sun Valley it went for over a year, 2010 to 2011. The dedicated dark space includes a 6 by 12 foot suspended light panel array, a sculpture created from a piece of biotech equipment that I salvaged and retrofitted with a custom UV light, a rare fluorescent material specimen, a motion sensor, and a circuit that affects the blue LEDs. <laughs> Village Catbird, a midnight audio recording in New York City, New York, 2007. The Village Catbird, sound field recording. The Village Catbird recording was made at 1.30 a.m. in the courtyard of the Washington Square Village apartment complex between Bleacher and West 3rd Street. I was returning from a night out in June after a week of recording all kinds of New York City sounds when these silly repetitive calls caught my ear. The recording was edited to seven minutes for the Ear to the Earth Festival in 2008. While I was editing at my studio in the Catskills, a mockingbird nestling 20 meters away came to listen. His vocabulary was a fraction of the city birds. You can go to this location and see several of Charles Lindsay's work. Rocket Brain 2012. How much more appropriate for a San Diego artist than to take salvaged missile guidance system and three F-16 fighter plane jet fuel tanks and make Rocket Brain. It's an interactive sculpture built from salvage missile guidance system. This shows included two new aerospace sculptures. Rocket Brain was fabricated from a 1970 missile guidance system purchased on eBay and retrofitted with motion touch and proximity sensors. These alter the gyro rotation and the imagery on the custom program Android tablet, fiber optic cable and pattern generator. A custom glass cone made at the H.S. Martin projectiles. These were made from three salvaged F-16 fighter plane fuel tanks, outwit fitted with sound player, amp speaker, audio response and motion circuitry, LED strobes, motion and motion sensors, three new color prints, one monochromatic pigment print, light panel, sound domes, video, steel box, light box, two large die sublim sublimination prints on fabric. A live multimedia interpretation. Electrosense of paddlefish. This was at the Frederick Lau Theater in November 1st, 2010, New York City. David Rothenberg and I performed the debut, a live multimedia interpretation of the complex environmental, political, and social issues involving water and the Western United States. I played processed sounds of water, electric cello, and Hmong guitar. Rothenberg was clarinet and overtone flutes with live explorations of found sounds. 2010, I traveled in the West, capturing video and stills for this performance. Las Vegas, Hoover Dam, Mono Lake, Yellowstone Parks, Geysers, and Forest Fire Remnants. Paddle fishing in Montana where a man meets a river-bound dinosaur. Fort Peck, the Mermaid Bar in Great Falls, Noah's Ark at a Creationist Dinosaur Museum. Industrial Irrigation, an Abundant Depression Era Farm. 
truck stops and water coolers. Craters of the Moon, Silver Creek. Charles' experiment in Costa Rica with a snazzy FX Tracer City, Costa Rica in 2010. He did field recordings, cello and electronic. Quote, short video was made with the Canon G10 on the Osa Peninsula in Costa Rica, where I am currently making wildlife and environmental recordings for my soundscape and for Catherine Chalmers' leaf cutter ant videos. The sound here includes processed birds, insects, and surf, along with electric cello, which was recorded at my studio in upstate New York. One of the analog processing units is called the Tracer City, a prototype built by my friend Dan Snazel at Snazzy FX. This is a short version from a larger project, which is in process. Harbor Ears, a concept draft by Charles Lindsay. And this is for the connector, the Port of San Diego art installation. And we submitted January 15th. Real-time interactive instrument for public education. At a public outdoor park, our Stonehenge, a computer-based interface receives a real-time sound from two dozen microphones placed at various locations within the harbor geography. This is a rough draft with a map of the bay and some potential locations. This is very preliminary. And this piece will travel to all five locations along the Thailand. Con container Henge, the concept which Water Henge was fashioned after, is meant to have a 120 foot diameter. These henges provide triangulation art events to encourage bicycle culture. Then the same team that will be building Water Henge has been working together for several years and submitted a container project to Barrio Logan in 2009. 